So you just got a great deal on a used XE1 or maybe an X Pro 1 or whatever older Fuji X series camera you have. You love it, but you've got a little bit of film simulation envy when you see the new cameras that have film simulations like Classic Negative, Bleach Bypass, Acros, or even just the basic and popular Classic Chrome. This video is going to show you how to get all of those new film simulations on your old X series camera using Capture One Pro 20 or the newer Capture One Pro 21. Let's get right into it. I'm just going to assume you have Capture One Pro 20 or 21. Today I'm using 20, but I've tried it on 21 and it works just as well. If you don't have Capture One, I'll leave a link below to where you can download a free trial. Capture One Pro is arguably the best RAW editor for Fuji RAF files. I'm not sponsored by them, I just happen to find it works very well for my Fuji files. Here I have some files shot by my XE1 already loaded onto my hard drive. I've shot all files in RAW format, which is very important. Don't shoot JPEG if you want this to work. So with Capture One Pro 20 open, I'll go ahead and import my files into the catalog. So let's go to Import Images. And I'm going to select all three files that I want to be placed into the catalog. And we'll import the images. Now let's select one of the images. And you can see when you go to the Edit panel, you can see in the Base Characteristics, and then you go to the curve where you might normally see the film simulations available for some of the newer cameras. You can see for the XE1, you don't even have the normal film simulations that are available in camera. And you only have these generic curves that are supplied by Capture One Pro 20. If you have a somewhat newer camera like the X-T2 or X-H1, you will have access to all the sims available for that specific camera. But you see the X-E1 doesn't even have Provia or its standard simulations that are normally available as in-camera JPEG options. So let's fix that. First, we have to download a program to batch rewrite the metadata on the XE1 files. Search for and download meta image from the Apple Store. And this is the one we want with the orange icon and the flower uh, in the middle of the icon there. Now, obviously, I'm using a Mac if I'm using the Apple Store, but if you're using Windows, you can Google something like Batch Metadata Editor for Windows to find an equivalent program. Some are paid and some are free. I got this paid program for just under $20 at the time, mainly because my friend recommended it and I knew it would work and be simple to use. You can, of course, try the free programs if you're more adventurous than I am, but I honestly didn't mind paying. Now let's open up Meta Image, and you can see what the interface looks like here. And I'm going to select the files that I want to edit here. Three of these files will just drag and drop into Meta Image. And you can see now the files are here in Meta Image. The first thing we want to do, you can see this area here under General and then Software. It says Digital Camera XE1 version 2.70. And we want to change that to XT4. So what we'll do, you can see on the right hand side, we can edit the text in that uh, for that parameter there. So you can see digital camera XE1. Let's change that to XT4. And then the version will switch to 1.00. The next step is we want to go to the camera section. You can see camera model name and we can see it's XE1. So we want to change that to XT4. So we've got that. Now we want to copy and uh, paste it to our other files. So what we want to do is select the top file and you can see here on the right digital camera XT4 version 1. Select all of that. Command C or just copy it and then select the top file here on our batch and then click shift and click the bottom file to select all the files and now we're going to be able to uh, update the software for all of the files so now you've got it selected you can see software is selected now go here it asks you to enter the new value just click command v or paste and click somewhere on the screen over here just to make sure it registers for all of the files there so you can see here now that we click each file we can see that Digital Camera XT4 version 1 is now the applied software 
to all of our files here. But you can see that the camera model name hasn't been changed yet. So go back to the top file where you changed it to XT4, click camera model name, and then highlight and select XT4, command C or copy. And again, we're going to do the same thing to paste it onto all our files. So select the top file, shift and click the bottom file. So you have all files selected camera model name. You can see it says multiple values. Click into the dialog box here and just paste XT4. And again, just click on the sidebar here to register the changes there. So now that we have the software and the camera model changed to XT4, you can see as we click through all of them read XT4, we're going to want to save that. So go here to the top right, save, save all edited files. And it gives you the indication that the task is done. So now what we can do, let's go ahead and remove the old files that we uh, first imported. So just delete those. And then now you're going to want to go back to import images. And then it should have saved all our information that we just changed in metadata. So let's go ahead and select those files we just changed, import three images. Now that the import is done, you can see the ICC profile now reads XT4 generic. And watch the curve here. You can see all of these film simulations are now available. You can see here we now have classic negative, classic chrome, all of the ACROSS options or ACROSS options. Uh, and also, we now have the standard uh, in-camera uh, profiles that were available inside the XE1 that weren't available when it was um, recognized as an XE1. But now that it's recognized as an XT4, we have all those standard options available. And we now have, in addition, the turn of bleach bypass, classic negative, and all of the other newer or relatively newer film simulations. So you can see it's pretty easy once you get the workflow down. Uh, if you have only an older XE camera, of course, you're going to have to do this for every single import. Uh, if you want those film simulations available in Capture One, this is definitely a worthwhile step for anyone that owns an old Fuji. I'm very lazy by nature and was hesitant to try this, but it's really not that hard once you get the workflow down. Well, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below as it really does help to support this channel. Thanks for watching and have a good day.